Happy Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headline. Nigeria cannot defeat the Igbo and Yoruba at the same time. Nigeria cannot defeat the Igbo and the Yoruba at the same time. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The greatest thing Nigerians accomplished in the last 30 years was electing Muhammadu Buhari as president. If he had lived and died without being president, no one would push back when politicians, when politicians fall over themselves to deliver tribute and call, and call him the greatest president that Nigel ever had. After six years of Buhari's administration, and with only one year and one week to go, all is settled about the rhymes and stanzas of Buhari's elegy. Some 30 years from now, people will stone anyone who, at, who attaches greatest to any tribute at Buhari's funeral. You may ask if anything is worth the cost of having Buhari as a president. Before you do, there is another reason why his election was the greatest accomplishment of the Nigerian electorate in the last 30 years. If Buhari had not been president, if his incompetence had not been exposed to the uninitiated, Niger would have continued its zigzag path. The one step forward, two steps backwards, trajectory would have continued unabated. Thus, Buhari helped the unrestructured Nigeria to confront its foreseeable future, that is Buhari's first legacy. Here is Buhari's second legacy. It may not be clear yet to the Fulani people, but Buhari's presidency has damaged, has damaged them more than any other group in Nigeria. Buhari's inability to have an objective view of what leadership entails in a diverse country like Nigeria and its propensity to side with his Fulani people, even when every donkey could see. The buyers undermined the Fulani deeply. It diminished whatever legitimate claim they have in what in a world is clearly a fast moving degenerative Nigerian structural carnage. The Fulani were better off in Nigeria six years ago than they are today. That is Muhammad Buhari's second legacy. In the context of Nigerian nationhood, Buhari's second coming was a necessary evil. He came, he saw, and he assumed its real nation for everyone. If Buhari had not been president, Nigeria would have been managing the People's Democratic Party of Good Luck Jonathan and Sambo, Dasukiland, Diazani, Alison Madweke would have been paying Dangote to rob of their dollar, even as the country continued to slide down the valley of debt. 
Buhari accelerated to collapse by taking the country. On a bungee jump down the deepest part of the valley using a frayed rope. A rope is the rope is breaking. Anyone with functioning ears can hear the splitting threads from miles away. High above the deepest part of the valley, Nigeria barely holds onto Buari's back. Two things will happen. Either Nigeria loses its cribs on Buari's back and falls into the valley of death, or the rope rips and both Nigeria and Buari plunge down the valley. Either way, death is the expected end. The only miracle on the horizon is to get Nigeria to a place where it cannot fight the Igbo and the Yoruba nations simultaneously. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, Nigeria may defeat any of its components. Nigeria may defeat the Igbo. Nigeria may run over the Yoruba. Nigeria may crush the Ijo, the Ibibio, the Tib, the Ijo, the Kanuri, the Fulani, the Bakama, the Idoma, the Urobo, etc. Nigeria cannot defeat the Igbo and the Yoruba at the same time. In a fight between Nigeria on one side and an Igbo Yoruba alliance on the other, many ethnic minority groups will take the side of the alliance. Whether the fight is in the physical or spiritual realm, whether it is in the democratic realm or the ideological realm, Nigeria has no chance of winning a fight against the combined forces of the Igbo and the Yorubas. For a, for a table with three legs, one leg has no chance of keeping the table standing when the other two legs take a knee. The Igbo and Yoruba need to take a combined knee. That is the ultimate way to, to shake the table called Nigeria. To my dear listeners, from wherever you are listening from, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know.